Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to convert a signal flow graph to block diagram. So here we follow few steps and the steps are in first step for given signal flow graph write the system equations and step 2 at each node consider the incoming branches only and step 3 at all incoming signals algebraically at node and step 4 for positive or negative sign in system equations use summing point this is very important steps and last step is for the gain of each branch of signal flow graph draw the block having the same transfer function as the gain of the branch now consider one example and try to solve by using these steps so let's start so this is the example so question is draw the block diagram from the given signal flow graph so in first step we write the equations so you saw sorry you see that in node x1 the incoming branches are this one that rs and this means x5 with negative minus 1 so write at node x1 the incoming branches are from this one rs and x5 so we can write that equations that x1 equal to rs minus that minus 1 into x5 okay so this is x5 now we go to node 2 so at node 2 there is two incoming branches so this one that x1 and x4 with gain minus h1 so we can write so x2 equal to x1 minus h1 into x4 okay now at node 3 sorry node x3 the incoming branches are that x2 and x5 with gain of minus h2 so the equation will be x3 into g1 x2 because this path gain is g1 that's why it multiply with x2 g1 x2 minus h2 into x5 so now at node x4 you see there is only incoming branch x3 with gain g2 so we can write x4 equal to g2 and x3 okay now last node that at node x5 you see that incoming branches are g3 and x3 with gain g4 so we can write that equations x1 sorry x5 equal to g3 x4 and plus this one this branch so x3 into g4 okay so we get five equations now by using this equation we draw the block diagram okay of each equations so first try with this equation that x1 equal to rs minus x5 so the diagram will be for this equation first equation so block diagram 
for first equation so we can you know that i tell you to remember that negative and positive sign will be replaced by summing block so first of all we write draw the summing block this one so summing block so we can so this is rs and this is output will be x1 so and this will be my x5 with minus okay so you can see that if i simplify this one we get that equation that x1 equal to rs minus x5 so this is same as this one okay now block diagram for second equations what is second equation that x2 equal to x1 minus h1 into x4 so first of all we draw the summing block okay after this one x2 this is x2 x1 is positive so we draw this one x1 this is positive and this is negative means minus h1 x4 so this gain will be obviously h1 and it will be x4 so second equation is complete that x2 equal to x1 minus h1 into x4 this one okay now for the third equations so third equations is x3 equal to g1 h2 minus h2 into x5 okay so minus will be replaced by summing block this one will be our sorry so minus will be replaced by this one and first of all this one this is minus so this gain is h2 and this will be x5 and this one will be our x3 and this one will be g1 gain and this one is x2 okay so we can write that x3 equal to x2 into g1 positive minus x5 into h2 so matching this equations now we draw the block diagram of fourth equation that x4 equal to g2 into x3 this is very simple so this is one gain block that g2 this is input x2 and x4 so we can write x4 equal to g2 and x3 now we draw the block diagram for fifth equation that is x5 equal to g3 x4 plus g4 x3 okay so first of all this positive so we draw one summing block positive and this one positive so here we draw gain gain block this is g3 and this is g4 and this one will be your that g4 x3 and this is output x5 so now we get all the four block all the five block diagram from the five equations now we have to combine all the above diagram okay so let's start so now combining all above block diagram
okay so first of all we draw that block diagram that rs so this one plus minus rs and this one is x1 okay and now so you see this is for one and this is x5 we join it at last okay now second is that x1 this one so this is x1 so x1 matching so that's why that's why the second will be this one okay so plus this is minus and output will be x2 okay now you see this feedback part so we draw we draw this feedback part that h2 sorry h1 okay h1 and this is x4 so this will be x4 okay at last we join that feedback path okay now third block sorry this third block this one will be x2 okay so x2 is go with block diagram g1 okay with a summing block plus minus and output will be x3 also there is one feedback path negative feedback so i draw that h2 and the this one is x5 okay at last we join all the feedback negative feedback and positive feedback okay now this does this block x3 into x5 so this one will be sorry g2 and output will be x4 there is no feedback path okay and finally x4 goes to g3 and after that there is one summing point plus this one plus and finally come that output that x5 okay so x5 here we can also write that x5 is cs because already given in questions that last node okay and this is coming from x3 okay x3 coming from x3 branch so this is coming from x3 branch x3 branch this is here okay so we can draw from here that x3 branch with one gain that g4 giving to this block so this is here positive okay so fifth equation is complete now we join all this equation that x5 so this goes to the x5 node this is x5 and this one goes to x4 where is the x4 this is the x4 and lastly x5 x5 means this one so this is x5 okay so this is the complete block diagram of the system so thank you for your kind attention if you have any query please comment on below video section if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you once again